here we are with an incredible game, a Clan Wars game, Clan Sheen versus T-GBU, the good, the bad, the ugly, versus Lord Sheen is cool. Now, this is an incredible match, so I decided that we're going to have to review this match. And, you know, first thing we're going to do before the battle even starts, analyze the comp, analyze the map. So, we're on Ruinberg, and right now we got the comp. It's looking pretty interesting, if you might say so yourself. Let's take a look what we got. So, right at top, we're just going to go top-bottom, E100. Interesting choice, since there are tanks that are just completely better than it, but Troll789M could be somewhat of a prodigy, you know. You might do that sometimes if you have a player who is exceptionally skilled in, you know, a tank that's not quite meta, but... You know, maybe he's got like 4.5k DPG, 5k DPG even in the E100. And then you're like, you know what, I mean, we could put him in a VKK, but E100, that's his jam. He's feeling that. 215B, interesting choice. You know, oldie but not a goodie anymore, but still throwback, right? It's got DPM. It's got... Good gun handling, and that's about all it has anymore. He's got the nice camo on it, so that's looking good. He's going to be an important player later in the game, actually. I have watched this before. I actually watched this live, and it was probably the most beautiful game I've ever watched in my entire life. Next, we've got the mouse. Now, oh yeah, I forgot to mention he's also boost. He's got the boosted. You can see the green arrows here are people using the Clan Wars experimental module. We can't tell what he has, unfortunately. He's in a 250B. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume maybe 30% crew boost. Um, And then Scooter Mo. Now, Scooter Mo is interesting here in the mouths because he is boosted, but we can tell what boost he has because he has 2850 health. That means he's using the gun handling boost that takes away his health. Which is a very interesting choice for the mouse. But it might work. He's also got the fire element camo. Which looks very nice on the mouse. And then we're at Lord Sheen himself. No boost. Um, An interesting loadout at the bottom here of 12 AP, 23 heat. No high explosive standard consumables. Press N to view per... Can we do that in here? Unfortunately, we can't see what missions he's on, which is a shame. Enough with Sheen. ST2, I mean, he's in a 277, right? It's it's understandable for a, a newer clan, a fresh clan into Clan Wars to not have, you know, the latest and greatest. So, obviously, he doesn't have the 260... So he's going with one below. He's going with a 277 just to help with the meta here. ST2, brand new tank. Very interesting choice to go with the ST2. Very interesting choice. We haven't seen much of it in Clan Wars. We haven't seen much of it. In fact, I don't think I've seen any of it in any of my games. But we've got Dav Tess in the ST2. We're going to see what he can do for us. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, this is interesting. Misplaced Eskimo, Type 5 Heavy. He clearly has the major HP boost. Look at that health. 3,480. That's insane. That's insane. Let's speed through the rest of this. Bat Chat, Crutcher, he's got it, you know. M48, Draco Barrel, he's not got it. Look at the 180s. Look at the firepower in this matchup. Look at the firepower in this matchup. But the flexibility as well in their medium choice. All different mediums. Well, that's very interesting that all different heavy tanks, all different mediums, and then 383 millimeter tanks with an E4. This is incredible firepower with 
great flexibility as well. It's it's pretty balanced. It's 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 a super heavy, hard hitting comp for city, with great flexibility, to do whatever they want. And it's very interesting. It's a very interesting comp. And let's just jump right into it. Draco Barrel says, uh. Okay, now this is important. This is very important. Draco Barrel says, why can't I see their tank roster? So, this means, this is literally Draco Barrel's first Clan Wars match of all time. And he's also never even watched one before. Ever. So... That's important to note. Draco Barrel's first game in Clan Wars of all time. We know he at least has the T28 HTC because of his badge. Good job. Good job, yeah, good job. Scooter Mo, you don't see them. So Scooter Mo is experienced. Alcuparanin is experienced, which isn't surprising considering his performance later in the game. So interesting setup here. We've got four mediums going towards Delta Village. Wow, what a play! What a play there by the Progetto 100. I'm assuming Thieves because he's a fan of that esports team, Temka. And look at this. Look at the mediums securing Delta Village. They have a batch hat spotted there. Okay, so two six eight fours are just rushing in here. Honey drinkers taking the the. He's pulling back actually. Look at this. Finally, with the perfect setup here to counter this. I do have the zoom out mod to help see things a bit more clearly here. Look at all that vision. Hungly gets a free shot there. Some beautiful shots in the 277s. Scooter Moe's unfortunately lost some health. But, you know, that was necessary. The medium tanks have completely secured Delta Village. They're just against one bad chat. You know. And look at this. Perfect lines of fire here by the medium tanks. Draco Barrel, he's over here. He's securing the zero line, right? He doesn't need to support the mid. He's, he's just securing the zero line. So these guys are trapped, right? Because they're just going to get shot from mid. Okay, so Temka's moving up. Beautiful shot from Sherman. He gets its first hit. Alright, let's zoom in here. Let's get a bit of reaction. So these two 6-8s are going to wrap this evil over here. Pungly, unfortunately, is going to have to drop. Another good hit in the ISO. Very good focus fire for his team here. Okay, so Pungly's going down, unfortunately. She just bounced two shots, allowing him to get off an extra shot there. Pungly unfortunately drops. Look at this damage into Johnny. Look at that damage into Johnny. Oh my good. What an amazing job by Pungly. What an amazing job by Pungly. Incredible individual play here. And then look at that. Honey Drinker. Really, man. Sure, man's. Sherman's on his last leg, and Honey Drinker tracks his teammate there. I mean, mistakes are made in the heat of the battle and the intensity here, but very unfortunate for Sherman still. Sherman doing what he could at the position, getting his final damage. But Pungly, though, amazing job by Pungly getting all that damage in there all by himself. Look at the 268 force, look at the 268 push around. Incredible. Now, you might think, are these guys just going to push in? Is TGBU just going to push in the clan sheet here? But they don't. They don't, right? Ooh, the Fighting Jew, unfortunate miss there. Scooter Moe is, is quite low here. And look at this. Look at this, alright? The field is gone. Green Levin, Draco, Barrel have done a, an excellent job securing it, pushing down. But right now we've got a major brawl going on. Scooter Mo falls. Unfortunate. He gives a little bit of cover for Temka, but. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And the 183, that's a big gun. Another big gun out of the fight. Two 183s are now out of the fight. But a beautiful shot by Troll. A beautiful shot by Troll. 
by the way, was firing AP at the start of the game, which is an interesting choice. It's an interesting choice. I'd love to hear, like, what made you think load AP first. I don't know, but it's interesting. Maybe for, like, a, a light tank, but I, I don't know. That wouldn't really make sense where he went, but it could have been a mistake. So he takes a hit there. Alku Karain and secures a kill on the 2684. And again, Troll lands a beautiful shot. Dav gets a good shot in as well. So Temka's getting good hits in this mouse here, armored Viking. Crusher is a bit, a bit trapped here. But Draco Barrel's still going healthy. Look at these shots. Look at this brawl. Straight up brawl here. They're just demolishing TGBU, right? TGBU, they don't know what to do. They, they're clueless. They're clueless, right? They had so many tanks full in here. Al Cooper Rainin, still on full health. Still on full health in his 215B, trading out kills here, focusing them down with his DPM. And there's nothing they could do. Armored Viking is now in a crossfire, right? He's, he's getting shot by Draco Barrel and Grelev. He's being shot by Temka, Honey Drinker. He's stuck. He can't go anywhere. The 2684s, they're panicking. TGBU, at this point, they must be thinking, we just have to hold back and hope that they that they make mistakes pushing into us because they may have had some advantage here initially where they could have all just pushed around and wrapped these guys. But whatever advantage they have, I mean, they bled so much to Pung Lee, right? Pung Lee did incredible here. Just halting them. And then Alk Perrainen, still 2,500 HP, you know. Temka farming damage in the mid the whole game. Right? Like, just incredible performance from these two players, Alk Perrainen and, and Temka. And we're at Honey Drinker here because this is uh, Sheen, who Sheen is spectating. This is, after all, Sheen's replay. So the 4K5, you know, he, he sacks himself, but he gets a he gets a, a very good kill on the Mal's armored Viking for 800 damage, I believe. Which, at this point, you know, the game is basically over. The game is done. Like it was looking bad, you know, a few minutes ago, but in this past few minutes, you're just like, she won, Clan Sheen won, and it was a crit, it was incredible, right? Alcuperain and look at this, four kills. No damage tanking. They said this tank sucks for Clan Wars. LOL. I mean... Wow. I... It's incredible. It's incredible, right? I mean... Like, what a game. Sheen himself, you know, he got three hits in, you know. He, he took the brunt of a push. But look at this. Stopped here, Iron... Iron Sniper, done. Look at this corner. Look at this corner. Three 2684s. <clears throat> right? Two 60s. Five A's. Another 5A here. Stopped by Pung Lee. Right? It's like... They just got shut down. Their bat chat that went into the field just demolished by our medium players. Demolished. I mean, what a game! Let's let's take a look. Let's take a look at the at the post battle results here. Let's take a look at the post battle results here. Look at this! I mean, right, hundred thieves Temka, fifty seven hundred damage, twenty one hits, sixteen pens. Right, like I mean, incredible. Alcuperanin. It's not like he wasn't getting shot, right? 2230 damage blocked in the 215B, 4.2k damage, 4 kills. And look, Pungli, he was there by himself, 3k damage he did. He, he, he did 3k damage, plus who knows if that 183 getting stuck on him doing damage even counted as his damage. Because remember, 183 was taking like physical damage. And then Grelev, who went field and flanked, 2700, right? Just the kills here. Draco Barrel, first Clan Wars game ever win. 
but look the, the the incredible performance here by the top three players like Pung Lee holding his own. You know, Grelev did get a good flank, but Alka Perain and on that corner brawling, incredible. And 103's Temka with the middle play. It's amazing. What an amazing game. And, you know, I hope you enjoyed too. You know, if you want to download itself, you know, here's the link. I'll put it in the description as well. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed just this phenomenal showing by Clan Sheen with one of the most interesting comps I think I've ever seen in a Clan Wars match. I mean, where else have you ever seen this comp? Like, a random battle? Exactly. That's what's crazy about it. Like, these were hand-picked tanks. Hand-picked tanks by these players to, to perform their role, which they did perfectly. Scooter Mo, like, he dropped, but... You know, he did his job. And then these guys, like... Hand pick tanks, perfect positioning. <clears throat> you can't make this up. What an what an incredible performance. What a great strategy. We're done here. That's it. That's that's all it is. Incredible match.